Okay, the way we graph cosine functions is very similar to the way we graph sine functions, except that the five key points happen in different spaces, in different places. Okay, so, well, they still happen at intervals of one-fourth of the period, except for the cosine graph, it starts at the maximum, goes to the x-axis, goes to the minimum, goes back up to the x-axis, then goes back up to the maximum. Okay, so for y equals cosine of x, the period is 2 pi, so it takes 2 pi units to complete one full cycle, and the amplitude is equal to 1. Okay, if we want to do a transformation of it, we use this number, the absolute value of this number, to get the amplitude, and 2 pi over the absolute value of this number to get the period, as I stated just a bit ago. Okay, so let's do a transformation of this. The first thing that we're going to do is find the period and the amplitude. Okay, the amplitude is 4 and the period is 2 pi over 3. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark off the value of the period. Then we break this interval up into four equal pieces, and the width of each of these pieces is 1 fourth of the period. Okay, so that value is pi over 6. So we start at 0, then we go to pi over 6, then we go another pi over 6, so that's 2 pi over 6, or pi over 3. Then we go another pi over 6, so that's 1, 2, 3 pi over 6, and that's pi over 2. Another pi over 6 gets us to 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. Now we mark off the amplitude, so positive 4 and then go down negative 4. Then we mark off our five key points. Okay, so we're doing the cosine graph. So we start high, go to the x-axis, the minimum, back up to the x-axis, back up to the maximum, and then we complete the graph of one cycle. Okay, that, so that's one cycle of four cosine of three x. Let's just quickly graph another cycle. Okay, so right here we have two cycles of the graph of y equals 4 cosine of 3x.